hey guys so in the last video we stopped here where we created our manifest uh, have had our index html pop up and a little bit of styling in this video we'll add javascript and interface with our input button the uh, input button and the input box so let's add a javascript file script as i say index js and we need to create the file okay so there are couple of things we need to do here first add a event listener on button and when the event is clicked we need to grab the value from input create an alarm for that value okay so let's first grab the button so we we'll give an id to the button let's say the id is add open dot get element by id the id that we gave was add dot add event listener and we need to listen for click event and once we click on this event we want to call let's say remind function now we need to create the remind function so function remind once someone clicks on the button we will need to grab the value from the input so counts let's say minute document dot get element by id the id of the input box was num okay so num dot value for safety we'll also make sure it's integer percent we'll convert the whole thing into an integer next let's also have some more type safe so if if the value in minutes is not a number so we'll console log that it's not a number you can also have a um, alert here or uh, you can maybe have a red input box make it red or show a message here it's all up to your choice uh, that's not really directly relevant to a chrome extension so i'm going to skip that else we'll console log the number let's try and run this reload and i'll open this i'll also inspect the pop up if my right click works suddenly my right click has stopped working okay let's check off once i write something let's say 1 2 2 as you can see this oh if i click there's an error what's the when okay this was minutes not me it's clear all the errors reload again right click inspect as you can see you see the number and if i type something that's not a number it won't allow me to type it's not a number so you can use this to play around with the validations as you like <coughs> you can also so alert or whatever next step we will do is once we have grabbed the minutes we'll create a reminder here so for that we need to pass this minutes into our background scripts so anything that you want to run in the background in the chrome browser in an extension has to go in the background scripts or event pages so we'll look into background scripts and event pages after this video there we'll pass the minutes from here and we'll create alarm there and show the notifications from there itself so this is it for this one guys i'll see you on the next one thanks